forecast. Well, I'm tracking a couple of weather systems that will give us a messy mix and a cold rainfall. Hello, I'm meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. Let's get right to it. A weather system today and then the other one will arrive on Wednesday. In that first forecast for your Sunday, it's a quiet and cold start to your Sunday morning. Temperatures at or below freezing and then by mid to late morning, midday, some sleet over to a cold rain will arrive. Daytime highs will be above freezing in the upper 30s, barely 40 degrees with that light south to southeasterly wind flow keeping us above freezing going into tonight with mostly a cold rainfall. Temperatures across the board are cold enough to support some wintry weather. We are at or below Low freezing area wide. NBC 29's live Doppler radar network is showing some precipitation along and south of the James River. This is not reaching the ground just yet because the atmosphere is way too dry. But what is reaching the ground is across southwest Virginia and down towards south side North Carolina, Virginia border and down into North Carolina. I am seeing some wintry precipitation break out into the Withville area. So from southwest to the northeast, this is going to overspread our region over the next several hours into the midday hour and even into tonight. It won't be until tomorrow morning we get the back edge that will arrive here starting the precipitation off. So the weather pattern will be unsettled over the next 24 hours. And for that reason, the National Weather Service has gone ahead and issued a winter weather advisory. As I mentioned yesterday, that winter weather advisory would likely be issued farther to the northeast. And we're seeing that for the Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah Valley, and into the Allegheny Highlands from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. for sleet and freezing rain up to a tenth of an inch of ice possible. That doesn't sound like much, a tenth of an inch. It's not, but a little ice goes a long way especially for traveling. So watch those untreated and elevated surfaces for a few slick spots in icy areas, mainly on elevations above 1500 feet. So the higher elevations off to the west of central Virginia will likely see that. And even across the I-64 corridor, Route 29, Route 15, we will likely see some sleet at the onset before it goes over to a cold rain. That's exactly what our rapid refresh high res weather tracker is indicating. You can see by mid to late morning, midday from southwest to the northeast, and it has a great handle on things. It shows the Blue Ridge Mountains perfectly and the Alleghenies for some sleet and ice. You can see on the legend there and the green is rain. So rain into tonight. The rain will begin to exit by say pre dawn into seven and eight in the morning and then quickly a break of sunshine with a gusty northwest wind and it will give us a cooling trend through the middle part of the week and that will set the stage for our next weather maker on Wednesday. Wednesday morning may be a brief mix of sleet and snow and ice over to another cold rainfall. We can't get a winter storm in here because the Arctic air is locked up to the north over Canada, but there are growing signs that we might see this head southbound, but not until February. Your forecast on this Sunday, a brief wintry mix of sleet and ice over to mainly rainfall. Highs upper 30s and low 40s overnight, mostly rain, some fog, overnight lows above freezing. Here's your Monday outlook. Any early shower will be moving away by say 7 to 9 a.m. Low 40s for the valley, barely 50 over central Virginia with a blustery northwest wind and a partly sunny sky. Here's your seven day forecast. Lows near 30 tomorrow night, a little milder on Tuesday. That's my pick day of the week in the 50s. And then Wednesday, a brief wintry mix over to a cold rain. And from today's system and Wednesday system, a half inch to an inch and a half of rain is projected. And if that were all snow, that would be more than a half a foot. So it's plain old rain and some ice and there it is coming up from the south and southwest. Some of that right now, not quite reaching the ground just yet, but by the end of the week and the weekend, it looks to be on the drier side. So okay. keep checking NBC29.com and the free Storm Team 29 weather app for radar updates. Right, in the last half hour, we were talking about how our NBC29 app is available mm -hmm. on the App Store and it's free, much unlike Tinder. So listen much to this. different type of app. Exactly. Though. Well, very, very <laughs> true. You're going to get a different outcome. <laughs> well, how much would you pay to?